Hello everyone, Tony Anicic here, Marketing Manager at Intrue. Um, we are talking about out-of-stock products today. Uh, out-of-stock products are a common issue for e-commerce merchants, both from usability point of view and SEO point of view. Uh, usability, obviously, uh, customers uh, come and expect a product and it's out of stock. And uh, in the SEO sense, they tend to be a problem uh, due to bad bounds. Now, bounce rate is not always bad for you. If someone comes, finds what he was looking for and goes away, for example, if you have tutorials such as this one, uh, then the bounce, bounce would be a good thing. You wouldn't be penalized for it. But this uh, out-of-stock product is actually a bad bounce because person comes to your website, sees that the product is out-of-stock, bounces right back to Google and then goes to your competitor. And it's a signal to Google that there's something wrong with that because it repeats every time for each customer who comes. So, how to handle this problem? What to do with the products that are out of stock? Well, first we have to ask ourselves, um, are these products coming back? Depending on this answer, we have two ways to go. So, if the product is coming back, um, when is it coming back? You have to uh, notify the customer when he comes to the store. You don't have to tell him the exact date or anything, but you can say, we're expecting to have it back in stock in a week or in a month. Okay, and you have to give him ability <coughs> to subscribe to get uh, notified when the product is back in stock. This way you will reduce the bounces uh, that would happen for the products that are out of stock. If product is not ever coming back, for example, if you were stocking on one gigabyte model of USB stick and they don't make those anymore and now you only stock 8 gigabyte uh, or 16 gigabyte ones, uh, you should do a permanent 301 redirection either to similar product if such a product exists, so in this case it would be to 8 gigabyte uh, model, or if there is no similar product, you need to do a redirect to the category of this product so that you don't lose all of the external link juice that this product had. Um, there is one other edge case where you don't really know if the product is coming back or not because maybe it depends on your uh, uh, provider or, or you know some some things you can't influence so when you're not really sure and you don't want to permanently lose all of the, all of, uh, the link juice that, that you are at head uh, you're not ready to permanently commit to not having it anymore you should do a 302 redirect that's a temporary redirect and redirect it again, either to a similar product or to a category that product was in. So that's pretty much it, not that complicated, right? Hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.